everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. Thought I'd do a little video of me pressing these up. Um, just reminded myself, I've got to get pair of gloves. There we go. Um, I thought, well, see how we go on pressing these up. These are aerosol cans that we've collected, chopped the tops, the metal piece off, that sort of thing. Um, the reason why I'm pressing these up is because we get 10 cents more per kilo. I've uh, done a rough calculation. How much is here? There's about nearly four kilos, three and a half or something like that. Three point, yeah, I can't remember what it was. I did weigh it with the scales that are over there. Um, teared it out before I actually put them in the, in the bin here. And um, yeah, I'm even, even going to try this one out because it's going to be crushed all up. Um, all the uh, vaping machines, like we'll crush them up, we'll flatten them out and that sort of thing in here. Um, and then we'll just put them in the press down here in, in our block. We'll put them in there because I'm going to get more money that way. It's best to be pressed up instead of being in loose like it is. So anyway, we'll just get to start crushing her up. Simple as keep the hands out of the road. Let the press do the work. We can put that down there, it's going to get pressed up more later. Go to this big sucker. A little bit at a time. It's a matter of maximising your dollar. That's what this is all about. If you can get more for it, why not? Good old log splitter. I'll tell you what, she's coming handy. Got the foot pedal working well too. Geez, that's a heavy piece now that it's like that. Feels heavy. Chuck that one in there. Might need to turn our block over. Turn it over that way. A bit more there. No, it wants to sit that way now. Okay. Guide it in. Got my glove caught. Look at that. Imagine that being your skin. Just saying, you know. But anyway, I'll continue this. I'll do a bit of a time lapse, probably halfway through. We may do, may not. All depends on how long this takes. But it's better off being like that. Being bailed, they say you get 10 cents more. So. Doesn't take long. Do it back to the other way. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Keep going the way we're going. Blocks are falling everywhere now. Only blocks of timber. Come on. Oh. Doesn't matter how it's squashed. As long as it's squashed, so I can fit it in there. Then I'll put that. Uh, I may actually put it up here, 
swap our apparatus around. Seems to work better like that. So you got the dome on the bottom. Because I haven't changed the head yet. Where's our foot pedal thing? I do try to make sure my hand's out of the road. We might just leave that one as he is. He's a bit blown out. Put him in there. Little one. And we do this one. Squash them flat. Quicker than actually putting them all in there like that and then trying to crush them. If you pre-crush them, Makes it a lot easier. Also testing the washing machine over here too. I think we need a new piece of timber. We may do, we may do. This is a long one. Couple. Get a couple up here. I'm not bobbing back with the forwards. Impulse. Get a bit of impulse into it. Impulse is no longer. Look at that. Nice and flat. at me it wandered out right, a few more up got one inside that here we go with that one. It done it. Oh, shoot, it's stuck to the timber now. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Double trouble.
I did try elevating this the other way, but with all the oil residue in the, well, it's not the oil, the oil tank, I should say, I'll put it that way. The oil tank's right underneath the ram, so with it being elevated like that, so when I'm putting the, pre, the, the me form in here, it runs out of oil. So I've had to raise it that bit because of the contour of the ground. So I only put a piece of steel underneath, underneath it, so um, yeah, seems to work better. Put this up here. Ah, that. Then our strap. 
This is how I usually do the aluminium foil trays. If anyone is interested or querying on how I do the foil trays, um, I put it in this, I put it, bring it home, put it in this big black tote here, cover it up, leave it for a couple of days for it to cement. Oh, there goes an the air compressor. I'm not finished here, look at this. all ready to rock and roll finish pressing these down save us swapping around back around to it that way round get these ones finished that one I've just put inside there it is aluminium not stainless. Got a bit stuck there. All right, grab these ones here. attack it's good enough put that gag right back now get rid of all of this this is where it gets a bit intriguing for everyone on how I put this up there it, it's got that extra three kilos the whole thing weighs about 10 kilos anyway oh dear it does get heavy but you gotta have the muscles gotta have the muscles you ain't got the muscles. Can't be lifting it up. I make things strong. If it's not strong, not tough, it's not up to my standards. Right, that goes in there, that goes in there. That onto that. That onto that. Strap it down. Where do I put that strap? Straps only to hold it from cocking up. It does have a tendency to wander side to side, even though I do have some legs going down beside here uh, to stop it from twisting side to side. I still like having the strap on there for safety reasons. It's better for me. Because um, if this goes pop and banging, God knows which, which I have had it do once prior. Um, not a good looking thought on it. Didn't get it on camera, but no, you've got to think of your safety factor. You've got nine ton of pressure going against it. So you best to strap it all down. Like this, this is already welded to it. So it's just a necessity to have, I reckon. Strap it down. Lock it in, get the chain out of the hole. Put our gloves back on because we need our safety. Got to have safety for doing this. Um, now I do, I have thought about making up a headstock where there's two plates like what I'm going to be holding here. These are pretty heavy. Pardon me. Um, but so that they actually just bolt in like that. Um, I could probably make something up so it bolts in there anyway but that is only held on by a couple of uh rods that are going through underneath here and that's all they are a couple of pieces of steel rod with a bit of thread on them and that's the rams up here and it's pulling that way it's the rams not up here pushing it um it'd be a very short ram if it was uh so that's how they've made this block splitter the log splitter whichever you like to call it um so that I purchased this myself, haven't been sponsored or anything. I'm not telling you the names or anything. Um, 
got one falling out there, another one falling out there. We'll let them fall out and we'll put them in later. Let's just get this done, I suppose. I'm going to have that right back. Put that to there. Foot pedal. This is why I put a foot pedal on. It's usually got a button down here, which the button is still there. But I prefer, so you've got two hands. You got feet, you might as well use them. Right, this is the slight, this is why I had a, I had a comment saying, oh, what if you elevate it? So that it's down that way. I would not be able to unless this was mounted to that. Now that's a big ask on trying to mount that to that when it's only held by two pieces of round rod. Big, big ask, that is. But anyway, that's not up there. That's got to go up there. Better release that. We're not in right. Not in the socket, right? Oh, because I'm here. I didn't take note. I'm not right up against here. That's what my problem is at the moment. Maybe that might help me. That may help me. I might leave it there, actually. I might do something a bit different. Try things a bit different today, everyone. Uh, relocation, that to there, because it cocks it like that when I've got it on this bed, because um, it's the way this this headstock here is actually made. I'm going to try a little bit different today. How about we use that and that? Just brainstorming here, everyone. Bear with me. Brainstorming. I always do this. June gets cranking me about doing this, brainstorming. But if you don't work it out, you're never going to know, are you? That's going to work. That will work. That's going to take up the extra. That'll be good. What you doing, Barney? Hey, boy. What you doing, boy? Barney boy. Looking after this dog. How you going, boy? Hey, Barney. What's the matter? Hey. There you are. Where you go? Don't tell me no. No, don't tell me no. Where you go? I'm busy. Where you go? You've been hiding in the cupboard, have you? Hey? Hiding in the cupboard? <coughs> Alright, got to tap that over because it's catching here. See whether this works or not. There we go, we're going in. Work better than the last one. Oh, they're not going to stay together. Well, oh, we're going to take it out of here anyway. We're going to put it in the 20 ton, the upgraded version. See how we go with that. Got it all squashed down so we can fit more in it. Get that bit of steel out of there. Undo all of this apparatus. Undo that, that may not, ooh, what the hell was that? Oh, that piece of plate. It may not all stay in as one block. I don't know. I'm only testing this as you all see it now. So, if you've got any ideas how to keep aerosol cans, aluminium cans, they're the same thing as one block, please let me know. I'm not melting them down. Don't feel like I need to. I don't think I'd get as much money because all the dry shits you get, god damn, no thanks. And the gas and all that sort of thing, nah. I don't think it's worth it. You pay all that money out, uh, get the foot off the pedal. You pay all that money out for the gas, 45 minutes later you've used one bottle of gas. Oh, I feel that's how much it would be. Stand that up. Put it in that press. I only put it in one way. Oh, I can fit the rest in there now. Going back.
back to his cupboard. Barney has. Press it down. Going from nine to twenty. Fair bit. Probably leave it in there. Uh, so when I get it more aluminium, I just stack it on top. Press it down for now with this one. Like nine tons, not much. When you think about, it, you're putting a lot of force against something that's not supposed to be squashed. Get off me butt. Get off me tank ass. Get some force behind this. Well, you can you know how much was in that. They're a uh, 30 litre bin. A plastic bin. Wash down to this. So if you can make more money by squashing it, by all means, give it a go. Still makes me wonder why they threw this 20 ton jack away. That's back in many videos. Way we gone bye-byes. That's 20 ton for you. That's what usually happens. So that's that. I'm going to let it down. Let it up. What happened actually? Oh yeah, jack twisted. It's all fine. No damage done. Not to me. Not to the press. I'm going to get that undone now. Alright, yeah. My mistake, forgot to move two pins out of the top holes here. That one was there, this one was here. That's why it's gone skew if. Um, this bar here actually caught the two tops, me not taking observation about it, and that's what's happened. But anyway, it's easy fixed. Just got to unbolt the thing and put that bar back in, get the jack out, that sort of thing. But anyway, um, we'll get you and do that. Get that all done. This can actually un be undone now. I'll give it a wallop and whatever I can to try and get it undone. There we go. Pressure's off. Get the bar out. We may not need to undo it. Might just need to take the jack out. That's all they are, hydraulic jack. Yes, we'll do that. That's all we need to do. Give this a twist. Easy peasy. All right. 
all these extra springs I put in myself. I thought it was necessary. How have I done that? Uh, oh, that was on that spring there. That was on that spring there. All right, I just lost it. Lost the plot, everyone. Where's it gone? Down over there. Okay. There. Yeah. That one gets hooked into that. Into yay. That goes into that. Then this. It needs to be actually a longer piece so it doesn't do this. It's the way I received it when I bought it. Not much I can do about it now. Go the other way. Could probably make up another piece. It's a matter of going buying another one so it doesn't flop side to side. It's all it is. Put that into there. Is that how I got it? I think that's how I got it. That is how I've got it. On the other side. This other spring that I dropped. Oh, fuck it. Things go wrong when you don't want them to go wrong. Isn't that right? Oh, battery's charged. Right, we might put the big big one back in here before we worry about that. Put that back up here. Stretch him down. Give it a tap. goes down to there, onto that one. That to there, that to there. It's only an extra spring to bring it back up. That's all that one is, just an extra spring. A bit more tension on it, bring the heavier lot up, like it used to be a 12 ton um it's sitting down now i retired it actually so now with the pins gone that sort of thing we should be able to go back to where we were because of my silly mistake should be able to go back to where we were and continue hopefully uh what i might do is actually Turn that up on its side that way. Them in there like so, that up there like so. Right, do that back up. Doesn't take long to get it all back into shape. It's not the first time I've done it. I've done it off camera as well once before. So it's just lucky that it only goes so far. All right, that's going down now. I haven't got my hands in the road. That's why I stand up a fair bit. You always stay out of the road of this sort of stuff. You never know when things are going to go pop. I haven't got a pressure gauge on this either, so I've just got to be careful. be enough that's more than what I'd be able to do with the other um, I don't know the breaking strain of these pins down here either this one's just about out I 
reckon that'll do. I try not to overdo it. You overdo it, you're only going to make things really happen badly. But anyway, that's what I'd use, was thought I'd, you know, share with everyone. How I actually press things up. A lot better than standing there with a, one of those aluminium can crushes. Or standing on them, that sort of thing. That looks pretty good to me. I don't know how that's going to hold up when I go to put more aluminium on it. Like the foil trays and that sort of thing. Because that's what I'll probably do with that. Because I, like I said, I'd rather get more money. Like 10 cents per kilo. Like I'm looking at uh, probably... Oh, an extra buck or two, no, for what I've got there. Um, but all in all, if I take it in loose, I'm only getting a dollar. If I take it in pressed up, I get a dollar ten per kilo. Oh, I've missed one. Missed two. Oh, well, we'll just put them in for the, in there now. So any more cans that I do get, I don't have to stockpile them. I can put them straight in with the aluminium, take the tops off, that sort of thing, of course. And, um, yeah, I'm glad I know I can do that now. So if you've come this far in the video, everyone, hope you've enjoyed tagging along on my little adventure and trying to work out a way of making a little bit extra. It's only a little bit, but you count your senses before you add, add your dollars and they'll look after themselves. But anyway, that's my old, old saying, um, working with hydraulics, that sort of thing, pressing up aluminium cans. So if you've come this far, don't forget to smash that like button. More people smash that like button, more people get to see this video. I know I sound like a broken down record in every video of me ending it off, but that's just me, everyone. Um, and if you wish to subscribe, please do so. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed. Totally loving it. Didn't think we'd get to uh, 3,500. Man, I seen it climbing. For, oh my God, this is going outrageous. But anyway... Um, till next time, happy dumpster diving, stay safe out there, and happy recycling. So, see you next time. Cheerio.